When you look at Eastern Africa, it's a region that is prone to a number of natural disasters. Uh, so when you look over the past uh, 10 or so years, we have experienced a number of drought events. We have also experienced a number of flooding events. And one of the things is when you look at these extreme events, they are coming uh, mostly back to back. In these times of climate change and increasingly extreme weather events, the World Food Programme has recognized that we need to start protecting lives before they need saving. We need to make sure that we're acting ahead of these extreme events, making sure that communities, governments have the tools needed in order to prepare and mitigate the impacts that these are having on livelihoods and lives. What's really different and also quite exciting about this approach is it's the first time that we've been able to use a hybrid modelling approach, which means that we take the best forecasts available and we fill in the gaps using AI models. So we use artificial intelligence to fill in our physical gaps in the traditional physical forecasting models. And this allows better, more accurate representation of observed reality particularly for regions that don't have such good observations like Africa. Traditionally, a lot of the local forecasting agencies in Africa have not had so much access to computational resources and this gives them the ability to use AI to generate forecasts at very minimal computational costs. It's a massive game changer. I hope to see a, a change in the way humanitarian response is delivered. Instead of acting after an event has occurred, we start to see humanitarians acting before, starting to see governments have the tools needed to act before these events have, have arrived, before droughts, cyclones, floods, heat waves are starting to impact the lives. We're seeing activities and support being rolled out to communities to make sure they have the resources available. And this can happen worldwide. This is going to be something that I expect to change the world.